my wife and I were self-employed. Had a business for 13 years in Sydney. We had decided to sell the business and make a move. When we decided to move down here, it really added to the interest that we could go riding in somewhere like Kangaroo Valley and the surrounding areas. It offers some amazing scenery on roads that can be challenging with a mix of hairpins, steep hills and traffic. So I slow down, stay away from the head-on zone and get my lines right on the corner. And once you've got all that in mind, for me, it's more than just a place with a great riding road. There's nowhere better. This particular bike is a 2000 model ZX12 uh, Kawasaki. At heart, it's still a stock bike, but I love the old school look of things and everything was built around the, the fairing styling. It's an amazing bike to ride. On a long ride, it's quite comfortable, but equally you can drop it back into first or second gear and go up the hills very comfortably. It's, it's fun no matter what you're doing with it, really. Kangaroo Valley, it's a little hidden gem, really. The road's great fun to ride on. It takes me back to my childhood where each corner is a new exploration. But there's a bit of everything, so you've got to have your wits about you when you're going up and down there. The Barangari Bends, it ranges everything from tree litter and debris, moisture in the road, to hairpins that double back, oncoming traffic. The main thing is not exceed what the speed limit is because it's, it's quite important down that section of the road. The Kangaroo Valley Road itself, the shoulders on the roads can often be unsealed and being a tourist road and, and with the historic villages in the area it doesn't have too many overtaking opportunities. So I don't overtake on solid lines and if I get stuck behind a slow vehicle I slow down, pull in and uh, have a drink of water, have something to eat. The Hampton Bridge is really interesting. It's the oldest suspension bridge in Australia. Visually, it's a wonderful thing to look at. It's only a one-lane bridge. As you're approaching the bridge, you've got to slow down, watch out for oncoming traffic, then you can continue on. Kangaroo Valley, to me, is a secret kind of place. Just to get away from work and stresses, it's all part of the adventure. But Kangaroo Valley should have definitely been Wombat Hills. There are kangaroos and wallabies, but there's a hell of a lot of wombats. <laughs> early mornings and, and evenings, uh, they're very active. You've kind of got to pick your, your lane position and just be aware of the, the peripheral vision because they can really sneak out from nowhere. The weather can change within 10 minutes. You never know what you're going to get. Fog is one that we strike regularly actually. The fog in the valleys rise up and cover the road and people can come out of literally nowhere in a foggy situation. So just put yourself in a position of, of safety. What keeps me coming back, it's always a different experience every time. Having been self-employed for so many years, your brain never stops. And to be on a bike, I don't think about work, I don't think about customers, I go and do it for me. Because every corner is a challenge. I love learning a new way to ride every time. And around every bend is history, scenery, something better to look at every time. I just love it.